it's Laura from OurOilyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a homemade conditioner. So a few weeks ago I shared my homemade shampoo recipe and I had a lot of requests for conditioner. And so I decided to play around with a few different ideas and recipes and I'm going to share it with you today. So if you've been hanging around my channel long and have been kind of following along with some of these DIY projects that I've shared, you most likely have all the ingredients already in your home because these ingredients are put into other things here that I've already made. So to get started, you're going to need a double boiler. Now, if you do not have a double boiler, that's no problem. There are simple to make yourself with just a pot of boiling water and a glass bowl. So I'm going to turn this on and get this water here boiling. And then I'm just gonna put my ingredients into this bowl. And then I'm going to place the bowl over top of the boiling water and that is going to be the same thing as a double boiler. The first ingredient is cocoa butter. Now cocoa butter is extremely moisturizing, it's great for the skin, it's really good for the hair, it can help to condition the hair and I am using two tablespoons of cocoa butter. If you are familiar with cocoa butter you know that it comes in these like big hunks of pieces and so it's hard to completely measure how much cocoa butter you're using. So it doesn't have to be totally precise but just using two hunks that look about like two tablespoons is what I'm going to put into my bowl. Then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then these are the ingredients that we're going to put over the double boiler to melt together. Once everything is melted, we will remove it from the heat and then add in the rest of the ingredients. Once the coconut oil and cocoa butter are all melted, you're just going to remove the bowl from the heat and be careful whenever you remove it because obviously the steam under there is very hot. We're going to let this cool for about five, 10 minutes just so it's not boiling hot. And then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. Now you want to make sure that you don't let it completely cool because there is coconut oil in here and coconut oil will solidify at any temperature under 76 degrees. So we don't want it to completely cool and obviously turn back into a solid, but you want it to be a little bit cool because we're going to add in some essential oils and we don't want to take away those therapeutic benefits. The next ingredient we're going to add in is one tablespoon of jojoba oil. You can also use fractionated coconut oil. And then we're going to add in one teaspoon of aloe vera. And aloe and jojoba oil, these are just really great ways to condition your hair. They're very moisturizing. They are very good at protecting the scalp, especially against things like dandruff because it's going to help repair dead skin cells. These are great ingredients to add in for your hair. So I'm going to stir this all together to make sure the ingredients are well combined. And then I'm going to add in the essential oils. Now, the essential oils that you use is up to you. There are several essential oils that are really good for hair health. And so the two that I have here and two of my favorite for hair are rosemary and lavender. These are really good for promoting your hair to grow and to thicken. Studies have shown that lavender can actually help produce more hair follicles, which obviously is gonna help to thicken your hair. In the amount that I made, I like to do anywhere from 15 to 30 drops of essential oil in here. And this also can depend on preference, depending on how strong you want it. And I'm going to do here just 10 drops of lavender and 10 drops of rosemary. And if you were making this for a child, I would cut that in half and do somewhere between five and 10 drops of essential oil. So I'm gonna add in my rosemary here. 
And over on the blog, I shared a few of my favorite recipes, um, some using oils for men and my favorite for women, my favorite for kids, and just a few other essential oils that you can use that are really good for your hair. Some of those are peppermint. Melaleuca is really great at cleansing and purifying. So that's a great oil to help keep your scalp healthy, things like that. So you can head over to the blog to get some more specific recipes, but my favorite and kind of simple is just lavender and rosemary. So that is it, guys. That's all that goes into this recipe. Now this is going to thicken. As it cools, it's going to thicken. Right now it's pretty liquidy, but it will thicken up a bit and it really depends on the temperature of your house, if it's going to be solid or if it's going to be more of a liquid because of that coconut oil in here. So I like to store mine in just a little glass mason jar. I like to do one that has that wide mouth rim because then it makes it easier to get my fingers in to get down all the way to the end of this. So I'm just gonna pour this into my glass mason jar and then I just keep this in the bathroom and to use this after you use your shampoo and wash your hair you're just gonna need about a dime size amount into the palm of your hand and then just obviously massage it in like you would with conditioner I like to let it sit for two to three minutes just to really condition my hair and then you can rinse it out now I am NOT one that needs conditioner every single time I wash my hair because of my hair type but my husband he has a lot more coarse hair it's really curly and so he uses conditioner every time that he showers but if you have um finer hair or you know you know your hair type if you're someone that doesn't usually use conditioner every time then you might not need to use this every single time that you shower now you can also use this kind of as a conditioning treatment. So you can put this on to your hair and let it sit on your hair for three to four hours. I even spread in some places that people put it on and then wear like a shower cap and let it sit overnight and then rinse out their hair. If you're trying to treat some damaged hair, this can help to re-moisturize it and help your hair to be healthy and it's gonna promote some shine to your hair as well with these oils in here. That is the homemade conditioner, super easy. And I hope if you guys have made the shampoo that you guys will try the conditioner. This is a great combo together for healthy hair and all natural products. If you are looking to get more toxins out of your home, I have a free ebook where I share my favorite recipes, most of them using these ingredients here to remake a lot of products in my home. And you can grab that with a link down in the description below. And I also have my free online essential oil class linked down there if you're looking for more essential oil education or if you're curious about getting essential oils into your home. And if this is your first time on my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.